Hey, Andre, thank you for coming to my channel. Hi, Fung Fung. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Thank you. I feel very lucky to have you here today. <laughs> Would you it's like been... to introduce yourself a little bit to my audience? Sure. So my name is Andre or Andre, as they say in French. My middle name is Francois and my last name is Delia. Uh, it's a combination of French and Italian because my dad was French and my grandparents were Italian. So a lot of uh, European influence and uh, my mom is German. I was born in America. I grew up in Italy. I consider myself uh, somebody that is very worldly and uh, I love life. I love traveling. I love everything about the world. And I love people. Uh, I love my job and I love the people I work with. So uh, that's pretty yeah. much who I am. I know you have so much passion for lots of stuff, work, life, and you also enjoy uh, the fun of the life a lot. I can tell. I learned a lot from you. Sometimes you just inspired me a lot. <laughs> yeah, I definitely enjoy work. I definitely enjoy the people I work with, life. And, uh, you know, it's important to live in, the, live in the moment and enjoy things and don't take don't take things too seriously. And uh, I like to always say cheers to, I can't see my glass of wine, but here it is. So cheers to, uh, to everybody. Enjoy life. It's very important. I only have water here. <laughs> and that's good too. That works. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I know you live, you grew up in Italy, then you, right now you are living in United States. Would you like to talk about uh, what's the difference between living in Italy versus in United States? Sure. Um, I, I, I was born in America, and uh, but at the very young age of three, I, I moved, not by myself, my parents moved mm -hmm. um, to Italy, and I grew up in Italy. I don't remember not knowing or speaking Italian. Um, it was just like a light switch went on, but the differences are are big. Europe and America are very different. Um, the culture of Europe, of Italy in particular, is very deep. It's very family, tradition. Mm -hmm. And uh, America is all about go, go, go. What's new? What's exciting? So when people ask me, do you consider yourself Italian or American? I say both. I try to combine the best of both. And uh, and make it work for for myself and, and everybody else around me. So yeah, uh, I, mm -hmm. I can, you know, when I, the first first time we met uh, in, in work, then I feel you are an international person uh, and you embrace lots of different cultures, you know, like a Chinese culture, American culture, or Italian, uh, Italian culture, or other cultures. For some like very traditional people, I feel, Sometimes they give me different feeling there. I can sense it. I can sense whoever is more open-minded and who is uh, not really very traditional. Traveling is probably one of the best things for people in, in, in the world. Uh, it makes you see things differently, makes you appreciate different cultures. And every culture is fascinating, at least to me. Mm -hmm. um, I spend a lot of time in China. If I, if yeah. I, and I've done this uh, a few years ago, I, I combined all the trips that I've taken over the course of my career in China, and I put the time together, mm -hmm. and I wanted to see how much time I had spent in China. And when I total it all up, it comes to six and a half years. Six and a half years? Yes. You have almost become a Chinese. <laughs> yes. Well, it's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it a lot. I, you know, I have a lot of friends there and uh, mm -hmm. I traveled quite a bit around China. Um, it's just a fascinating country to me because you have the, the real, real tradition. Mm -hmm. And then you have the ultimate modern buildings, technology. Um, you know, you go to Shanghai and you see the, the courage that um, the mayor whoever it is to build the buildings they have in, in Shanghai, which is amazing. So I love, I love traveling to China. I love traveling to Japan. Of course, I love Europe, the Middle East, 
uh, Africa. I'm, I'm fortunate mm -hmm. enough. I, I've been to many, many countries. So it's, I, I recommend it. Travel, uh, go anywhere. When my uh, baby grew up a little bit older, I would love to travel around for sure. Yeah. It's fun. It's fun. Do it. Go see anything, you know, go see the grass in another country. It's fine. It's good enough. Just see anything. <laughs> Yeah. In China, what's your favorite food there? So I just want to learn this. Then one day, in case I uh, we are both in, Ch in China, so I can invite you to your favorite restaurant. So I love how vegetables are cooked. It's ah. so simple. Yeah. But it's so good. It's quick. It's as the flavors are. When I eat food in Italy and when I eat food in China, there's some things that are very similar. Mm -hmm. Vegetable, the flavors are, are very similar because Italian cooking is, is simple and Chinese cooking is simple to some degree and in some provinces and all that. And I love that. I don't like very complicated foods. You know, I don't like French food, um, mm -hmm. too elaborate. But so the vegetables, I love dumplings just dumplings ah. I could eat dumplings all day long I would <laughs> I was just like more just treat ah. so a lot of things a lot of uh, the simple things that are eaten uh, not you know not mm -hmm. the complicated things yeah so, yeah it's very funny I uh, just looked up the the Italian fried rice the other day online tried to make some uh, 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 Italian you know uh, fried rice but yep. it turns out it's almost the same as the Chinese the fried there rice. So many things that are similar to Chinese. You know, the, the, the spaghetti, which are the, the long pasta, uh -huh. there's always this debate that Marco Polo, he traveled the world, but he, he found the pasta in China and he brought it back to Italy. And he was like the, the inventor of it. Oh. So it's, it's uh, there are a lot of similarities. I call Italians and Chinese cousins. <laughs> when, I, when I worked in Italy, in, in China, I felt that the only way I could get through getting things done and communicating easily was the Italian way, which is a lot of hand gestures. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like really strong conversations and it was, uh, and then connecting, networking and, and, and having a good relationship with people. So yeah, similarities, very, a lot of similarities. Yeah, um, that's re really nice to know. I didn't know the Italian spaghetti is yeah. inspired by Chinese noodle. I didn't yeah. know that. 